So when you first arrive, you don't have to go directly to the parking garage. There is a nicely sized lot where you can park for up to 20 minutes. I don't know if they, how, how they check that, but you know, armor system for check-in parking, so you can be closer to the entrance. Don't know if this is only here for the grand opening, but looks like it might be like Cabana Bay, where they have themed vehicles. Here, of course, is the Wave I've been showing you on the construction updates. Didn't know at the time, at first it was the entrance, but it clearly brings you right into the lobby. Speaking of that, let's go in. Before we go in, over there you can see the second phase or dockside, which will be opening next year. This turns out this wasn't open until exactly 10 o'clock today, so I got it here a little bit too early, but it's just after 10 o'clock, so let's go check it out. Very short line for a check-in. Unlike Sapphire Falls, if you remember that, I'll put a quick clip of that, that opening day here. And check out the check-in desk. It looks like a big wave. That means you let light through. It's called worse. I bet. Would you do a I guess these are supposed to look like stones. Don't no, I've never been surfing, but I'm pretty sure that's not quite how it works. They even themed the checkout. Interesting decorations up here. Comfortable looking couches here in the lobby. Over here they have sort of a laptop bar. Some outlets, USB, including USB-C, which is interesting. Guess you can charge a MacBook from there. Nice. Hi, uh, welcome to Universal's Endless Summer Resort, Surfside Inn and Suites. We are here inside our two-bedroom suite. Um, over half of our 750 rooms here are two-bedroom suites. They sleep up to six people. They're perfect for a family or a group of friends. And as you can see, um, we have two queen beds here. We have a third queen bed in the second room. Um, our rooms are themed to surf culture, um, easy breezy, bright and beachy. We actually have a real surfboard in the room here. And if you come around here, we have a nice kitchenette area complete with a microwave and refrigerator and small sink and coffee maker as well plus an actual picnic table here in the room uh, that families can gather around and eat together. And if you come this way, we have uh, bathroom, uh, two vanity sinks here, so multiple people can get ready at the same time, and a separate room with a door here for the toilet and shower. And through here is the second bedroom, complete with queen bed, closet, and TV. So. Great space for families and groups to share and have a great time while they're here at Universal Orlando Resort. So here we have a standard room uh, with two queen beds. Uh, this sleeps up to four people. And as you can see, uh, the surf uh, theme carries throughout. This room has a single vanity sink right here and a separate room for toilet and shower as well. So multiple people can get ready. We have a closet here with a uh, ironing board and then back here we have a refrigerator so you can store uh, snacks and such during your trip and um, a large screen TV and nice. if you are um, traveling with a larger group we can uh, offer you connecting standard two queens uh, so you can get a couple of these and, and make a larger space for your group. Um, important to note that our room prices um, are the most affordable at Universal Orlando Resort. Endless Summer Resort is actually the first uh, hotel in our all new value category. So a standard uh, two queen room will run you about $73 a night uh, for a seven night stay. Those are starting rates. 
And then the two bedroom suite starts at 111 a night for a seven night stay. So they have an ice machine, but I don't think they have a vending machine. When you get off the elevators, pretty cool mural up here. Unlike Aventura, which doesn't have room for a game room, this property is much larger. So let's take a quick look at that room. Pretty quiet in here, but it's a pretty standard game room for the hotels here at Universal Orlando. It's nice though. Bunch of really cool prizes you'll never actually win. Oh, I spot some theming. Oh, wait a minute. This is Secret Life of Pets, not Secret Life of Pets 2. <gasps> Terrible. And here's where you get your card. Aha, here's some Secret Life of Pets 2. Redeemed. And some candy. Some good stuff in there. Scooby-Doo candy sticks. Ooh. Some Hanna-Barbera. Some unintentional... Easter eggs in here. At least I think is unintentional. That would really, that would really be going um, seriously far for a, a hidden reference. Halo Fire Team Raven. We saw we saw this if you watch my Roddy Paws channel at Dave and Buster's recently. Except they have a larger one because you know it's an arcade. They have more space. Not as much space as the Hollywood one though. Here are the prices. Not sure what the other machine was, but this is where you get the cards to play the games. In the super echoey hallway, next thing we have is the fitness center. Those are some impressive hours there. This is actually a very similar layout to Aventura's, except it's um, a little more continuous. Techno Gym. It's a company I keep seeing a lot of in these hotels. We saw that at Margaritaville as well. I'd say anything good or bad about them, I just I've noticed they're a popular company for gym equipment in hotels. Okay, leave a comment below if you know what this is for, because uh, it looks like circus equipment for very small elephants. Seriously, I don't know what it's for. Check out all the stuff this does. Balls and weights. Ah, oh, cemetery wipes. Nice. Here's another look from the other side. Honestly, not a whole lot to show you here. But it's a good, good variety of equipment. And it's pretty nice. It's nice and open. And as far as the space is open. And you have a nice view of the outside for the pool deck. So, not really nice. Closer look at the mural. Very nice. Very 80s. <laughs> and over here, you have water fountains, including one of the newer style water fountains that fill up water bottles, which is nice. And look, they've already saved 289 bottles. The green is universal. Now clearly I'm not going to show you the men's, or definitely not women's, restroom, locker room. I'll go in and report. Yep, this is what you'd expect. Nice modern locker room, restroom, restroom on one side, lockers on the other side. They lock with a code or a key. I'll try to find out how you get the code. Um, probably comes with a welcome package, but <laughs> the sandbar, most of you probably know, but sandbar is a part of, of the beach where it raises up again past where the waves break. Look it up if you don't know. Aha, the sandbar is outside. I thought it was a po sign pointing that way. Ah, here's a sandbar. Nice little bar on the inside and over here on the pole, lots of copywritten music. Great. A little bit more of the sandbar and the side bar. And the main part of the bar. Plenty of seating over here to face the pool, which is nice. 
take a look at the menu. The beer selections. So it's a really nice bar. It's a great view of the pool and the lake or lagoon or whatever it is that used to be by Wet n Wild, why it's called Surfside. It's really nice. These chairs over here by the sandbar are kind of cute. Eh, not my favorite color, but you know, whatever. So it's time to take a look at the pool deck. Here at the former Wet n Wild. Here are the chairs, the lounges. This pool has zero entry and a built-in splash pad. Now we have seen this before at the Portofino Bay, but not quite the same. This is actually a much higher spraying splash pad. And the pool looks like a giant fish. They have a nice wide variety of chair styles. These tables are really nice. Themed signs for the restrooms. Here are the rules and also a flag advisory, which is interesting. One of them including Marco Polo. None of those are for a lightning warning, so they're all just silly. Here's a look at the entire sandbar from the other side of the pool. Pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of a small pool deck. Ironic being what used to be here. Here's another type of chairs. And this is a kind of texturized tables that I grew up with. My family had at the at their pool deck, although theirs was um, fiberglass. This is aluminum, I think. Not that it matters, it's just the, the difference in materials. Nice outdoor seating area here with some picnic tables. Here's another look at the pool from the sixth floor. Actually a nicer view because you can see the whole pool in the lobby. Here's the Beach Break Cafe. Let's go in and check it out. Hey, first day, this is working. All right, let's check out the Beach Break Cafe. Of course, you have the grab-and-go section. Cereals, popcorn, things like that. Some prices as well. Some muffins. Prepackaged gluten-free muffins. Dasani sparkling water, fancy. Just regular soda. Some Red Bull, in case you want to get up for early park admission. Falls, whatever that is. Some kids options. The grab and go section, you have some salads. Some sandwiches, these sandwiches look good. Capri panini, panani, very, see it's so, it's so fancy I can't even say it. Roasted turkey, something type of sandwich. The way the power bowls work, they are rice, quinoa, kale, cabbage, carrot, and then your choice between the carne asada, the adobo chicken, or on request, the marinade and tofu. Alternatively, you can get one of the entree plates, which comes with the citrus roasted, the citrus roasted chicken, or the herb crusted cut, and then your choice of two out of four of the sides, which would be potatoes, rice, corn, or steamed vegetables. Nice. And of course, on this side, it gets the same options repeat. And you can pick up your endless summer resort cups for, of course, the freestyle machine. So a few impulse items over here. And this is where you check out, and then check out the seating. And it's in a nice little area just off, just outside of the main area where the check-in is. It's a nice little seating area with some surfboards. There's some of the seating areas for the caf indoor cafe. Nice and quiet in here. Of course I'm yelling because I'm just used to doing that because I'm used to being in the parks. Some nice sand dollars. I need to work on that whole yelling thing. 
I'm just so used to being in a noisy environment. And here's the outdoor indoor section with picnic tables. Pretty nice. And finally, the freestyle machine, hot chocolate. Oh, don't need that yet. And a few other condiments, of course. Don't let the name fool you. It still says barbecue sauce, but it's basically ketchup, unfortunately. Some nice steaming here for the aisles. And if you notice, it's blue, like the water. So I went with a regular cheeseburger, but they cooked it specially with provolone cheese, some fries, some fused iced tea, and a comically large straw. If you're like me and you don't like pickles, be aware, there are pickles, at least in the burger I had. So, a really good burger. Um, fries are pretty good. Uh, it's a tad salty, but um, I don't really like them salty. But pretty good. And look, another full service Starbucks. This might be close to the record for the most number of Starbucks in a certain geographical area. Some interesting tables here. There's a Universal Studio store. I don't know why it's not a Universal Orlando store, but you know. Here's some Endless Summer Resort. Oh, interesting. It's only Endless Summer Resort, so it, it could be for both. Am I going to buy something today from, from here? See, it's $15 for this mug, $6 for a coaster, $25, $7 for these magnets. There's only one. They just stick together because, you know, they're magnets. $18.95 for these owls. Classy. Very classy. $27 for this picture frame. $8 for these highly themed drink coasters. Kind of cool. Though it's made out of painted wood, so I feel like I would need a coaster for the coaster. Hmm. No, they are nice. Of course, standard hotel forgotten items. I don't know, Diva, if anybody mentioned, or both of you guys, if anybody mentioned the night. Hmm. Minions? They're despicable me, in general. This one is very meta. It is a plush character who is carrying their own plush character. Of course, a little bit of swimwear. These uh, wonderful <laughs> bouncy balls. And some more merchandise from the hotel itself. Here's a magnet set, $15. $25 will give you this nice embroidered endless summer resort towel. Have to have shot glasses, nine dollars for these. And, the right there, and, the sunglasses and look at the um, flip-flop inspired. I guess this is a key, it's a very big keychain. Eight dollars. Now I'm I'm guessing this is so it's large because if you drop your keys they float. Just a guess. Nineteen dollars for this Christmas ornament because in Florida Christmas never goes away, at least in Central Florida. Eight dollars for this pin. And that is a look at the Universal Studio Store in in the summer, Surfside. Here's a look at the hallways. I actually found a hallway in a hotel without room service. As you can see right over here is where the buses park for Volcano Bay and City Walk. And over here, this is the new bus wrap I haven't seen yet. Interesting note. On the back, they don't show the hotels anymore. I guess they they started to run out of space. They used to list all the individual hotels. Oh, look at this. Garden of Kong. 
Interesting. These are along International Drive. Minion Garden, those are banana plants. Swamp Garden, who could that be? Actually, it says right there. Inspired by the film Shrek. This is pretty cool. Hmm, this is inspired by the film Lor The Lorax, but not specific, but not Seuss in general. They're gonna need a bigger boat. Interesting. So there are Easter eggs here. I just don't, I have not found any Easter eggs for Wet n Wild. Doesn't mean they're not here. I just haven't found them. Ah, oh, Raptor Garden. That's a brief tour of the different gardens out here on International Drive. Nice little feature. Well, that is my review or my first look at the Endless Summer Resort here at Universal Orlando. Everyone on staff was really, really wonderful and helpful to me, especially the the uh, woman who I forget the name of already, who gave me a tour and in the restaurant showing me what the food options are. Uh, the major exception is the security officer who just kicked me off of property because I'm not staying here and had gave no beeps about the fact that I am here to shoot video. He just told me in an extremely passive aggressive way that I need to leave right away. He did not care about any reason for me to be on property. He just cared that I wasn't staying in a room on, on site tonight. So here I am on the road finishing the video. Thanks for watching this video all the way through and please exit through the gift shop. And here's the updated yet again map for the theme parks and resorts. First ever off-site hotels. Well, it looks like this won't update um, anytime soon, if, if ever.